Korea and the Philippines have a shared destiny. Korea is a peninsular nation. Philippines is an island nation. Korea and Philippines are two Christian nations at, at the gateway to Asia. It basically is, ties this region to the west and to the east, to the new and to the old. So what happens here in Korea and the Philippines will move not only Oceania, but all of Asia. There we were, serving so many, more or less 800 aetas. And all of them were so happy, but this afternoon was so different because our chairwoman of the Global Peace Women came as our guest of honor. Tree planting event itself has shown great participation and we hope that young leaders would take action to help communities and also to join hands in strengthening the environmental awareness within the Philippines and around the world. So many women from across this great nation and around the world are here today, united and ready to invest in a vision that speaks deeply to each of us. Moreover, we are here today to deliberate on how we can work on empowering service-minded women, building a world of freedom, harmony, and peace. We must agree that a free press is a moral press and journalists should be guardians of freedom and truth and the fighters against injustice. Faith is the foundation of most people's lives, that we are all born by a higher being and therefore having that connection to a higher being is what really brings people together. We hope you find the programs and experience to be edifying and empowering, that we may strengthen our commitment to be the peace builders who can transform our communities, nations, and the world. And in the work of peace, we need to inspire a generation of dreamers that can dream the greatest dream of all. And what is that dream? I uh, just want to congratulate all of you that, that have uh, recognized the value and importance of business in a, in a peace conference. It doesn't often uh, get the attention, but I really think uh, you deserve a big hand. It is natural for countries to pursue national interest, but we can broaden our horizon, broaden the time frame from narrow short-term perspective to a broader long-term perspective. And then things surprisingly begin to look very different. So I urge everyone that we put our acts together and let us achieve our goal of ensuring that all Filipinos are able to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building a cohesive nation. If some of you may be sitting here thinking, well, how can I possibly be a part of a generation that becomes a change maker? Never think that you are underqualified because you are qualified. I have to come to the developing South, the Southern Hemisphere, to find you young people. For you, if you are inspired to dream and be an owner of a dream, within one generation can bring about fundamental change, not only within your nation, but within the region and the world. Do you want to do that, yes or no? Do you want to do that, yes or no? Do you want to be the owners of one family to God? Yes or no? Go!
going to mobilize tens of millions of Koreans based on the Korean dream, based on the providential mandate rooted in Hongin Gun, based on the greatest dream of all of building one family in the God. of your fellow human being is the greatest purpose that you can ever set foot into. Peace to that troubled land. Ah, Joe!